<clears throat> they say I got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me. If they can't understand me, how can they reach me? I guess they can't. I guess they won't. I guess they front. Now I know my life is a lot full. Welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Hopefully the audio is better now. I gotta apologize. This is hard to do. Let me not express that in any less certain terms. Um, but that's okay because it worked out pretty well for me. You know, you guys haven't got a taste of it yet. I just. You know, the new system's working, so guess who's ahead on those videos? Guess who's ahead on his editing? Have you seen the new thumbnails? Have I got the new thumbnails done by the time of this recording? I don't know. I'm on fire, so maybe. We'll just have to see. Um, the last time I played this, I mentioned the composer, Michiru Yamane. I assume I got that in the neighborhood of correct, but, you know, don't... Japanese, Japanese ain't my native tongue. The point is, uh, I know a pile of Japanese composers, because that's the kind of junk I listen to, like video game music, anime music, things that were probably composed by somebody with an extremely not American name. Point is, I didn't want to sound like super racist and just like list off a bunch of random, you know, Asian sounding names for the composer. You know, because while Michiru Yamane did this, and they, I'm just going to go with they, because I honestly don't know if it's, you know, he or she. Um, they did a pile of games, but there's also, like, Michiru, Michiko, Naruke, they did a pile of games for the other PlayStation, great soundtracks, you know, Yasunari Mitsuda, he's kind of, don't remember what it does, but it's definitely worth getting. Oh, great. Um, Nobuo Yamatsu, you know, Squaresoft Club, the Koji Kondo. I, you know, like I said, just like a ton of really Asian sounding names, and if I was just gonna like rattle a bunch of them off, I don't really like the objects of that, the audio objects of that, so. I looked, I don't know why I looked on Spotify. Spotify is, it's nice that they do have some of the. Um, I mean, just some video game music on there in general, much less some of the good stuff, not just like Halo albums, but the tragedy. Oh, hey. I remember a new spell. It's like getting experience in an RPG. Um. My poor brain. They just, uh, oh, you're already cowering? How afraid you are. You're dead. Alright. <clears throat> I remember what I was talking about, but it was probably about soundtracks and they were amazing and they were glorious. But, um... Oh, right, Spotify. Yes, they finally put a bunch of stuff on. I'm just, I, honestly, I was just enjoying playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night for a second. Like, I realized some of the parts that are coming up in the game later, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get to do that in a, just like 30 minutes of my life. Um, 30 minutes is a little, but I don't think I can make it that fast. I mean, I'm kind of speed running it, if only because, you know, my memory is pretty sharp in terms of what these many monsters need to be handled appropriately, but... Um, the Saturn version, which is the one I'm playing, and I didn't even notice how much damage he was doing, is harder than the one that I was classically trained on. <laughs> I think I walked by a save point. Yeah, uh, this is harder than the PlayStation version. I don't know, I think they, you know, like back in the day, I mean, with good reason, because we gave them some pretty poor examples, 
Uh, the Japanese were pretty convinced that we weren't capable of playing games as good as they were. And uh, as a result, there was a long period of time that whenever a game got ported to the U.S., it, you know, if it wasn't already toned down a little bit, um, you know, it probably got like an easier difficulty by default or something like that. In the case of a lot of later games, they got a, you know, like after it proved to be successful in the States, they would re-release it with, you know, the original Japanese difficulty or something like that, which is, you know, it's just an excuse to re-release the game again, but you got to rebuy it again, they'll say it's because they thought, you know, you needed a challenge. Anyways, uh, I don't really dig on, like, needlessly hard games way back in the day. I was very committed to playing games like that. To completion, I was an achievement hunter. It was very unhealthy. It was very bad for my, like... Oh, God. I am so bad at that command now. Dude, do it. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Like I've forgotten all the old tricks. Apparently I have. Because I can't actually... Oh, it's like that, right? Yeah, there we go. Goodness gracious. My poor brain. I hope everybody's enjoying seeing these guys again. You know, I should probably get, get I should probably just keep like food in my hands, because you never know when I'm gonna do chuck something out to heal myself. So what do we got? We got some pot roast. There we go. Keep forgetting what the back button is. And then my item button is like this? Nope. This. I don't know. I think I think that by process of elimination that means it must be the button I'm kind of ready over, so we'll see how much damage Cthulhu or whoever murdered me a minute ago. Wait, did I even get the Cubazoe again? Not the Cubazoe, the Spirit Orb? I didn't, because that's in the area with the dolls are, but I guess we'll never, you know, like, I guess we'll see the enemy damage later. Old games, you know, it was totally fine if you just walk by stuff. Kind of the hallmark of the Metroidvania C's, uh, design is the, you know... By all means, walk yourself into a situation like this and, you know, wish you'd gone back down that one hallway instead of the other hallway. You wind up with a distinct appreciation for, like, all the times in life that you've gone, you know, the right way in a game and been like, Oh, man, I'd found more secrets. Uh, I don't even remember that enemy, so... Yeah, I might be in a place I'm gonna get killed. Ooh. I mean, I'll happily keep hitting you guys with the jewels. Ah, I can't stop getting burned. Oh, that's just an enemy, huh? He's just going to town on me. The power of Christ compels you! So, it must be this. Nope. This. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. These guys don't give up! The power of Christ compels you! You know, Castlevania, obviously, the whole Christ mythos is, you know, pretty thick. So, it was one of those things that they were like, oh no, we definitely, you know, got to cut that out for the Americans, which is crazy, because, you know, I can have a game about killing Dracula that doesn't involve Christianity, but, nonetheless, you wind up with areas like this that I definitely have never seen before, full of monsters that were almost assuredly cut. Because they were just a little bit too Christian. Don't you turn around? Yeah, we're getting the heck out of here. It sucks in here. There's more fire over there, too. Goodness gracious. Give me that turkey. Nope. Press the wrong button again. The turkey is definitely this button. Chicken. All right. Yeah, I will happily go back to that. Oh, I biffed it again. You guys are the worst. Leave me alone. I mean, you're, you're great for my experience situation, but every time I screw one of you up, I take so much damage, and then you just appear on top of me? Never mind. We're going this way. I'm just going to have to be more careful around ones, but I've got the power of Christ with me now, so it's probably fine. Yeah, I just got to make sure not to get rid of it. Gemstone is fun, but it's a room clear. It's not like damage for a single enemy. It's just, you know... 
guy who definitely needs a very specific brand of pain. Oh, okay. And he only did 18 damage, which means I must have eaten a whole pile of hits before I finally, like, died. I just wasn't paying attention, it was running my mouth. That's gaming for you. I need... It's, no, that's not gonna work. I'm so bad now, that'll never work. Once upon a time, my aim and focus was good enough that I could, you know, I called myself a holy water user, but it's to kind of do now. Oh my god, would you see me say that? Kill myself with it a bunch of million times. Alright. Look at us, circling back around with new powers, except we left one behind that would have been very fun to use right now. But nonetheless, we don't need to know how much damage we're doing to these monsters. We just need to continue our quest to destroy our dead. And I need to remember which of these buttons counts as select. Nope. I may have a bit of a problem accessing the map, but... Yeah, that's... You know, that's... Mm, that might be a bit of a situation, but, um, you know, maybe not. Is it, no, it's not that button. Is it this button? Is there, no? No, that's, that's the Victor button. So, I've definitely pressed all the buttons, and none of them are the map buttons. So, either I'm forgetting how to recall the map, or I'm actually going to play through this game... Well, I'm going to lean on my poor, fragile memory of this 20-year-old game. 20, 30-year-old game. Get them over that mode. Or, uh, I'm going to get frustrated and look it up. But either way, I think it's going to be fun to record. Nonetheless, uh, I still have a couple of things I can talk about that aren't just my growing, you know, like, inability to play video games as I age. <laughs> Um, I guess I could also go back in that horrible place where I also got ki where I almost got killed, you know? Like, I kind of got out, but it was a... Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. <clears throat> Still leaning on, uh, you know, a bunch of fun technology here, so... My, my system thinks I have a lot of things going on that I may or may not. But, that's fine. I don't know how this works. You guys don't know how I made it work. And if you do, shame on you for not telling me before I got started. Uh, and if you don't, you know, just uh, I hope you're enjoying the effort. <laughs> the game certainly isn't disappointing. It's killed me once and now I'm lost. Which is, I think, all anyone's ever wanted from a Castlevania Sith in the Night playthrough. Just to see me get lost and then, you know, have to have to dance around. Ending Phoenix is gonna have a fit with me for this segment of the game, but with any luck, I didn't ruin the audio this time, so it'll be a little bit harder for him to like, you know, he'll be furious, but he won't be uh so quick to cut, you know. Some of the other ones, when I mess the audio up, that's when it's just like, yeah, this can go, this can go, this can go, but... When it's crisp, when it's clean, when I talked about something interesting... Yeah, my first cape. How fun. Uh, what's the cape slot? There's the cape slot. Look at that. Press the wrong button again. Got me a cape. As fast as I can. Oh, it's an ugly cape. But whatever. The Phoenix loves a cape. Ah! Compelled! Get compelled! Don't worry, I'm going to look at the description. This isn't actually me having a lot of things to talk about, me just having a grand old time and not feeling like talking to you guys.
the platforming and the combat, everything is so satisfying in this game. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Um, tell me your thoughts on streaming. You know, I'm old, right? So I have a bunch of things going on in my real life that cut severely into my ability to play video games, right? Like, it's a thing. I cannot stream, you know, even outside of all the weird conditions I got going on, all the things that are keeping me from, like, spending time just sitting in front of the television that are just, like, my body and my personality. Um, you know, life stuff happens all the time, and the question is, you know, like, is that, uh, like, uh, how, do you, how do you feel about a streamer who's gonna be all over the place in terms of, like, schedule and play, you know, because I don't, I don't think I enjoy interacting with people as much as the average normal human being does, at least on a, on a, on a video game level, you know, it takes me a very long time to get on board with video games where I have to interact with other human beings. It takes a very long time. Yeah, that's the way I went the first time. So this time we'll go up, because I think up is the way to some fun music, right? Or maybe a boss or something. Either way, it's going to be good times for us to watch. Um. <laughs> the point being, you know, it's just like, and then you're playing the game, and you got to, like, interact with people, and it, don't get me wrong, I like good people interactions, but I hate terrible people interactions so much. That I ask myself, you know, is is that worth it? Yeah, again, I'm not I'm not a social butterfly, so just being on the mic, waiting for somebody to show up and say hi, is not really a problem. But at the same time, I recognize as a community builder, as a gamer, as a whatever, you know, like it's a, it's a boom to have an outlet, an opportunity for people who are participating in your entertainment stream to get a more hands-on, you know, appreciation for what you do. To get a more inside the cockpit, you know, appreciation for what's happening. I, I just, you know, I, I guess I just like some perspective, and I know most of the people in my comment section have perspectives that are similar to mine, because they're, you know, we're all old, grizzled, old gamers who grew up in the dark ages before any of this stuff was fun, but now we live in an age where the crap is everywhere, and the question is, you know, like, how do we... How do we, uh, I just, I, you know, the, the book is kind of spellbinding to me, because it's, it's, it's not perfect, right? The effect is a little bit different from the way it was supposed to be, and I'm assuming that's a part of the, you know, the emulation, they're doing their best over here to simulate some pretty, pretty specific hardware effects from the original PlayStation. Um... I'm just seeing it in a new way, and you know, my, 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 I, I hate, you know, like, 40 years and counting, I hate that little son of a gun. I ain't never had a good time. Wait, are you human? What are you doing here? I've come to destroy this castle. Likewise, I'm Maria, and you are? Alucard. Well, if you're a better swordsman than a speaker, perhaps I'll see you again. Farewell! Somehow that burn is more biting now. <laughs> I thought more words would take the, you know, some of the, some of the, 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 the ice out, but no. It's like a, it's like a Victorian burn now, you know, now it's just like a mean thing you say to somebody, and on the way out of the room, they're like, hey, wait a minute. Victorian burn? I think they probably did that. I don't know, maybe they didn't even burn. Some of those people were super petty. That's another thing. I'm not a real big fan of trolling. You know, like, I don't, I can't, like, play games on people, which is, like, a big draw of interacting with people. Especially in video games, you know, like, I guess I'm the kind of person who would play the Lego games back in the day. And it, it drove me crazy that people didn't want to accomplish things. They just wanted to sit and, like, throw horses at each other and whatnot. And they're always laughing their butts off. So I get, you know, there must be something going on there that I'm missing. And I've reached a point in my life where I no longer, like, rain on the parade, right? Like, if I'm just in the... The clock sucks so bad. Um, 
At least at this stage of the game. I think the clock plus the shield rod was like amazing or something. I don't know. There's a whole lot. The game had so many deep things that were so entirely unnecessary to play in the game. You, to play. you only had to learn so much to beat the game, and then you find out beating the game is actually only half of the game, and then you complete that half of the game, and it still turns out there's like a small, like it's just so much more to the game that I guess some um, game designer was just like, yeah, I, yeah, I just had some extra ideas left over, and I thought I'd leave them in the game. I don't know, now I'm playing the Saturn version, so I can put together all the dots, you know, all the little things that were in my version that were not... Yeah, I thought this was luck. Um... All the little things that were, like, in my version, but they only left a piece of... Excuse me, sir! Get compelled! Um... You know, and then we just had to, you know, like, we just had to look into, like, an Electronic Gaming Monthly or something and, like, read an article that was like, yeah, the reason that thing is named like that is because they couldn't translate the Japanese, or they left it in there because the original puzzle was like this, but because it involved a naked lady, they had to cut that part out of the game, so now you're just lost. You know, it's just like a whole bunch of things that, theoretically, this being the Ultimate Edition, the whole gang of us now can experience and, you know, know what it's all about. And that's just fun. I think. Uh, you know, I actually did some Googling in between the time of last production and now, and, uh... Yeah, there's already a full playthrough of this, because some, you know, like it's... Uh, obviously, right, the second it got announced, somebody went on to... Ah! Um... You know, they just, like, jumped on Twitch and spent the whole day playing the game, and then, you know, the VOD got turned into a YouTube channel or whatever, but... As I think I've expressed, maybe not on the Castlevania playthrough, but... Um... I don't think I, my content delivery is the same, you know, like, someone correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously I only watch myself and a couple other YouTubers who do exactly what I do. But I, I don't think the kind of way I do my videos, chopped up into chunks like this, with just audio commentary, is a thing. It's certainly not a thing where it's not very reactionary. I think a lot of people who do this sort of thing, they don't have like a script and a conversation strategy plan. They're just planning on waiting for the game to make them freak out or something. Which is cool if you have an interesting personality that's worth that, but I'm like a not skilled enough to screw with you right now. Um... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm more machine than man, and, you know, twisted and evil inside, so the idea that I would be able to just, like, play, the, you know, like, I'd, I'd just sit here in silence, you guys would be like, is he still there? Did he die? Did something bad happen? Oh, there's so many things! Like this? The bird down here? Yeah, that means something. I don't, I don't know what it means. But look at it happening. I think that happened in my version. I wanted to look at this eyelid. I think. I mean, look. There we go. Perfect. Don't know what any of it means, but it's a whole lot of fun. Anyway. I need a save point. <laughs> I don't need a save point. Last time I actually ran a little short. And, you know, <laughs> this is actually fun. So I don't really want to cut him short. But I do not want to let them get super long. I, I, you know, like... Part of the reason things went sideways with the old format, which I guess is good because now we're doing things in a different format, is just because the, the hour-long cuts were killing... They are killing me inside. They were just totally killing me inside. Um... Maybe a day will come when, you know, this... Not so much going on in my. Oh, I know what we're got to do before we end the game. All right, I, okay. And hey, who knows? Maybe I'll die. That would be fun for you guys, right? Like if instead of actually succeeding in this upcoming challenge, I die. And I get to do it again. I can get some different stuff to say. It'd be fun for everybody. Um. No, no, I'm that dude. I'm actually just gonna go in here and I think I'm gonna save. Let me see how much time I have. Oh God, I'm not even at time. I have to go. I gotta minimize this. I gotta get that up. Alright. 
and make sure I've been recording audio this whole time. Thank goodness. Only like one time. Nope. Only a few times have I forgotten, legitimately forgotten to control the op to record the audio. But it has happened. And it is the most heartbreaking thing in the world to have intended to record audio and not record audio. It's by the reason I moved to not recording audio. Because believe it or not, like not, you know, it's just like, it's that heartbreaking to blow it on such an easy level. You know, I've certainly expressed that there, there are some really convoluted, involved ways of messing this up. Recording length. Video game glitches, you know, the Burger King microphone situation. To just like accidentally have the mic muted is so, it's like, alright, it's like, you know, those are rookie numbers. You gotta get those numbers up. Uh, and it's tragically, it, it happens a lot, you know, it's not, I bet you there's like YouTubers who have been doing this for years, like years and years, big ones, who. Part of the reason they either employ somebody else or, you know, it still happens because, like, yeah, you might just forget to turn the audio on. And it's crushing because, of course, you know what you talked about for that hour. <laughs> no one else ever will. <laughs> and you can try. You can try, you know, just be like, no, it was, uh, it was, it was about this. and it was, But you're never going to match the intensity. You're never going to match the energy level. You're never it's like... It's just a whole. It just sucks. So every every now and again, because I think this is worse, right? Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Only got the. Oh, I did get the zircon. Not that that's anything. It's just like money, saleable. Is that right? I don't know, but whatever. That might be what it said in the original game. I don't know, honestly. But I got a good sword, and I think this one does. This one have an attack? It doesn't. That's fine. I'll figure the attacks out. No, don't go down there, stupid. We can at least make it all the way up top. This isn't functional yet, right? No, we gotta go all the way up there first. Why, God, obviously, if that functions. Why would you go through all this anguish? So that is... I'm just gonna go up here, because I think... Oh, that poor guy. And this cool guy. Ooh! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited about dead screams! Oh my god, I'm so not excited about some of the enemies. I just realized some of the jerks I'm gonna be killing down the line. But that's fine. They're all gonna pay. Yeah, the soul of the wolf. I want that. Yeah, I forgot to go there. Dang, and this guy. No, that guy sucks. Forget about it. Ah, I'm having such a tough day with stone. It's fine. I'll play the game I'm supposed to play. I won't, you know, I'm not going out of order. Well, I, the bad things keep happening every time I go out of order. Every time I'm like, hey, I got this, guys. I guess that's not true. When I went out of order, I got like six levels and I survived. When I went in order, I got killed by a, a, a very, very, very basic enemy. Which, you know, I guess is part of the bit. But... The long ago. Oh, jeez. Like 1997, guys. 97? 95? I don't know. The graphics? The music? Those things have not been updated. Nope, that background effect, that sweet, sick thing that's happening with Alucard every time I move? That was just a thing happening on my PlayStation anytime I wanted it to, and it was glorious. There are days I would just turn it on and watch the animation, watch the things move around. And once I started to get like a real appreciation for programming, because of course it was games like this that made my brain want to program, made me want to make video games, I started to get an even deeper appreciation how they use cheats like what's going on with the blood effects on those guys. You know, those are polygonal effects. Because to put a bunch of sprites down there like that would be lit, it'd be so upsetting. It, trust me, performance wise, memory wise, it, blood sprites, it sucks. It sucks so bad. It's such an irritating thing that it takes as much effort as it does to get like blood sprites in a game. Anyway, some Konami programming genius just cooked. I got a thing. I thought I got a thing. Yeah, it was a, it was oh, it's a thing I already got. That's totally fine. And I have to get up there now because I need to. That's ah, ha, ha. that's what the name of the episode's gonna be. So as soon as I get up there, I can get my sound bite. I can get my save. 
Uh, don't know what my thumbnail is gonna be. I don't know. I mentioned thumbnails earlier because I think you know. Uh, well, there's no think. I am actively stepping up thumbnails. But of course, you know, my quote-unquote mascot is stolen, sort of. So I'm not going too bananas because every time I look at one of my thumbnails, it's like, look at all this hard work I did, and then slap somebody else's character on. Um, which is fine when, you know, it's just like, I'm starting to see the numbers, you know, it's, 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 it's when my video does, you know, like, a couple of hundred views, and the thumbnail sucks, or it looks just like somebody else who I don't like's thumbnail, can you still do this? Yeah, you can still compel, you can still get compelled. Come on, knowledge! You can still get compelled while I curse. There we go. Am I still cursed? No, I'm free. free of the curse. Uh, I think I just did my first soul steal accidentally. But that was definitely a new voice clip, which is which is which is bad news bears for the clip I want the most, but. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Sometimes you don't get the voice clips you want. Eventually I'm gonna have the MP and the HP and remember the motion at the same time. Like I'm just gonna be fighting a boss and be like, oh right, you do this. It's been a long time, old one. Eh? Why, it's Master Alucard. Come to visit, have we? I need your help. Oh, but young master, I could never betray the good Count. The good Count? You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. <laughs> No! No! I mean, it's okay, but it's just like, no! It's okay. If you don't know why I'm heartbroken, it's fine. Buy the original game on something, it's on a lot of platforms now. I guess I shouldn't say original, because that's original. It's just like, it's just, it's gone. It's gone forever. But it's fine. It's totally fine. I don't mind. <laughs> it's just like, it's just a creepy Japanese librarian, but... I mean, I guess I could, but I don't think I can use it. I think I have a, I have... Oh, that, there it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you can look at this. You know, look at this game, right? Like, this is, look at all this stuff I'm gonna have to, you know, fill through. Yeah, this is gonna be some gonna be some some thumbnail action in here. Man, what what a, what a great time! I, what a good move this was. Incredible. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you won't go unrewarded, we'll have to do. And then I didn't even equip my new gear. Got a new hat, even though I don't think that was the best hat I could buy either. And this is just the sword we're gonna go with right now, and we don't need to get our health. This is backstep, not item, right? Yes. Item is over there, and I won't press it, because I don't need to press it. Right anyway, isn't that grand, right? We met the Master Librarian, now we got the ability to buy some stuff, and, you know... Dracula's not going to be upset about the whole deal because, you know, it's, 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 we're getting paid. And, like, who cares if the castle goes down as long as the guy inside gets paid. Which, let me tell you, I mean, it's just like... 
you know, what people think of merchants in general in life, you know, like the, the buck is all money, the dollar is You speak in terms of parables that become tropes and stuff in video games, you know, the idea that there are so many merchants operating outside, operating within the walls of their... God! I always wondered why that happened in the original game, because of course I knew it was coming back then, and I was just like, yeah, you just killed the books after that. Now I know it's because if you're an idiot, you get ambushed by books that don't necessarily kill you, but you do kind of get jump scared for a second there. Anyway, the fairy is neat, but she uses your items, and I guess I need someone to do that for me because I'm doing a bad job, so let's just turn her on. Oh no, that's 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 not what I want. Yeah, the fairy squirrel is just a thing that makes stuff pop up on the screen, so I guess I'm still a ways away from my first familiar. That's totally fine. That is also totally fine. And I need to go back and get that thing. I'm gonna go back and get the thing. <laughs> the thing that I lost, and then we can call that an episode, because like I said, I don't I don't want to shoot super long, but I said 30 minutes, and then last time I definitely didn't shoot 30 minutes, and I edited a little bit out of it because I had some technical errors that you guys didn't notice. But, point is... Come back here, you bloated sack of ectoplasm. Don't you curse me. Don't you do it. You're compelled. Yeah. Scream in agony, trapped souls. Love it. Yeah, without the map, this is actually a very different experience. Uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited, to be brutally honest, because, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm already lost. I guess lost is a hard term, because it's... You know, I, can, I practically have sections of this game tattooed on the inside of my brain, but... Um, you know, I have always played the game with the ability to, at any moment's notice, say, bring up the map and be like, oh, there's a save point over here, or, oh, you know, like this area of the game that is relatively safe from danger and evil is right over there, and instead I said I was going to go back and get that thing. And then we're going to go in the scary place. The scary place is actually going to be the next episode, so let's have to... Because it's new, you know, we've never seen it before, and I killed a boss, and that was kind of fun. This isn't a save, either, but yeah, this is how you get to the save here. So maybe the next episode we're going to get the thing. Yeah, we'll get the, we'll get the thing, and then... And, and then we'll go in the scary new place. And then that'll, that'll, that'll be a nice way to close out the week. So, so shout-outs to you for watching, you know, flippity-floppity-floop. And, uh... See you next time. Yeah.